Meghan Markle has become a laughing stock after launching her jam. Last month Meghan launched her new lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard, as she and Prince Harry pursue new projects away from the royal family. The strawberry jam appears to be one of the products she will start selling, as she sent out a jar each to 50 different friends and social media influencers in a gift basket. However, Angela Levon hit out at the idea, saying, I can't help laughing. Meghan has sent 50 influencers a jar of strawberry jam. Hold the front page. It's a limited edition of 50, we see the jar number 17. Meghan sent strawberry jam to several pals, including Delphine of Black Air and fashion designer Tracy Robbins, who shared pictures on Instagram. After being shared online, watchers pointed out how the label looked like it had been written in Meghan's handwriting. Others also spotted that the label seemed to be coming off. One social media user wrote, Anybody noticed the label on the promo jams Meghan Markle is sending to friends is literally peeling off? Not a good start, another said, cheap labels coming off. This is what people were waiting for. Similarly, someone commented, the label is hanging off. Tut tut, poor quality. An ex-user added, so Meghan's first product is a cheap jar of jam with the label peeling off. According to Paula M., Meghan didn't get FDA approval before selling the jam. You know you have serious issues when the U.S. Food Safety Board doesn't approve your products. Is it safe to eat Meghan Markle's jam? California has a lot of regulations for selling homemade products, Paula claimed. The Food Safety Department has banned Meghan's jam due to safety concerns. Raw correspondent Michael Cole criticized the launch of the American Riviera Orchard jams. He told GB News, maybe there's a way back into the hearts of the British people with her strawberry jam. Cole argued that there was nothing wrong with the launch but noted that the new lifestyle brand is most likely in connection with the latest project with Netflix. Cole told host Martin Dorney, Netflix has given a $100 million contract to the Sussexes, and now the Sussexes are going to have to start singing for their supper because Netflix wants payback. They don't give away all that money for nothing. Prince Harry is going to do this polo series, and she's going to do this lifestyle series, but it won't be shot at their house or the hilltop Camelot in Montecito. It'll be shot at a very nice house nearby but not their own. Paul then joked, so we can presume that the rescue chickens won't be having a walk-on part in the series. Reflecting on Meghan's previous lifestyle project, The Dig, which was closed down when she joined the royal family. Cole revealed that the blog was a big no-no for Buckingham Palace when she first started dating Prince Harry. Cole revealed, really, what this is, is the development of the blog she had before she was engaged, which was called The Dig. It was to do with a special sort of Spanish wine that she liked. But she closed that down for the very simple reason that when she half joined the British royal family, she was told that she couldn't exploit royal status for commercial gain or allow others to do so. Cole stated that now the Sussexes are on their own, they're very much in the marketplace for commercial deals and have to earn a living.